Am I the a-hole because I want my stepdaughter to live with her mom for a while? Okay, so my husband and I have a 14-year-old daughter together. Let's call her Maisie. He also has a 17-year-old daughter with his ex. Let's call her Danielle. For some reason, Danielle hates Maisie. It's like she hates sharing her dad with anyone. She never accepted me or Maisie in her life, even though I've been in her life since she was one. My husband ended up buying a car for Danielle when she turned 16, and we asked her if she could take Maisie to school with her because their schools are closed, but she refused to do it. That's not a problem. The problem happened yesterday. Maisie walks to school every day. Yesterday, she sprained her ankle on her way back home. She saw Danielle driving by and waited for her to stop. Danielle stopped, asked her if she was hurt. She said yes, and then Danielle said okay and left. She left. Maisie had to walk back home like that. I was seeing red when I heard what happened. To be honest, I can't tolerate her behavior anymore, so I asked my husband to just send her to live with her mom for a while. This is not the first time that she did something like that, and I'm just so tired of her. My husband, of course, thinks that I'm an a-hole for suggesting it. So am I? Well, I'll say that I don't think it's a surprise that the father would be upset that the wife suggested this. Because if he is a good father, maybe he wants a chance to parent his child and maybe even discipline her instead of just sending her directly to her mom's house. Now, I do get the stepmother because if she did something like that to my daughter after she sprained her ankle, I would be pissed. And Danielle definitely needs some sort of punishment and they need to find out why she has such a problem with Maisie. All I know is I would not be okay with the way she was treating my daughter, but I would definitely understand why her father wouldn't want to just send her away with her mom. If they're paying for her car, they could start by maybe taking it away from her for a while. If she doesn't have any respect for her stepsister, then she doesn't get to drive herself to school either. That's just my opinion though. I do not tolerate mean girls. So for this one, although I understand why the stepmother has an issue, I still gotta give her an a-hole rating of six out of 10 because she's been in Danielle's life since she was one. She should be trying to fix the problem instead of just sending her to live with her mom. I gotta give the dad an a-hole rating of three out of 10 only because I don't have enough information showing that he's tried to fix the problem. I would not allow my daughter to treat her stepsister like that. And as for Danielle, she gets a big 10 out of 10 for me. I can't think of any good reason to leave your stepsister limping on the side of the road when you're going to the same place. I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, let me know what you think about my newest custom light-up jar. All right, guys. Peace.